Hello and welcome to episode 124 of our survival let's play on No Man's Land. We are starting off right after the last episode. Um, we are travelling up with the dump truck. Uh, the dump truck? The dump trailer. Because I couldn't find what I thought I seen a factory where you could produce stones. Bear in mind, I haven't really looked through Mod Hub. I just typed stones in and seen what came up. Um, I do need to look through Mod Hub. But what I did find was you can buy pallets of stones um, and you get 1,050 litres for £950. Um, it says on here that you pay 500 which is, I presume, for 1,000 litres which is obviously better so we're going to test that theory out now what's that there? ah, oh, sugar beet um, stones so 2000 oh yeah so it's cheaper doing it like that, i tell you what, let's just fill it oh my god Right, so that's six grand, five grand. That's cost us to get twelve thousand litres. Um so twelve thousand litres. It's gonna give us next to nothing, is it? How much is gold? So it peaks at nine seven. Ah, there's not that much of a What's the swing? 800. 800 pound swing, so it's not massive. But to be fair, for the price we paid there, it would. Oh, that's per thousand. Yeah. You would still make money from buying the stones and putting them through here, because. Methane we get for free, pretty much. We produce what we produce our own methane. Water's free. So yeah, even by doing this, we're still gonna make money. Which is interesting. Productions. I want to go down to our BGA. Here it is. Yeah, methane, I think. I reckon we're going to produce enough just off that BGA. I don't think we're going to need that. Um, how much are we going to get back? We're going to get 10 grand back for it. Do I just bite the bullet now and sell it? And just keep... I think we... Yeah. We're going to do that. We'll put something else in there. Because we're not going to need... We've already got 7,000... We're basically keeping up on there. All we need to do is keep filling... I might as well just turn that off. All we need to do is just... Keep filling the BGA, that'll create enough methane, and we won't even need to buy a drill because it'll just. Um, it'll just take it straight to it. The methane that is. Like there's a pipe under the farm taking it straight from here over to there. I don't know how much silage you've got left. I know the grass is ready to cut as well, isn't it? I've got so many jobs to do. It's unbelievable. I think we were talking a couple of episodes ago, weren't we, about is it time to up the amount of days per season? 
maybe putting it onto three days a season. Or three days a month, sorry. Um, one of my sons has been playing FS19. And, like, I've just been sat sort of with him while he's been playing with it. And I'm back in sort of in 19 terminology with the whole seasons and the way seasons worked. So much better. Season so much better on um, 19. Um, I'm pleased with the way we've sort of stacked all that. Um, all that sugar beet that was. It's made it so much easier. I was thinking about getting some sort of leveller, a plough or something like that, to try to make the process a little bit easier. Um, that's something we're going to have to try. I really want, in in this particular episode, to spend some money on some new kit. I just haven't decided what that new kit's going to be yet. fact that we've got all these fields that need planting and or seeding and um, yeah fully turning around I think that new bit of kit really should be some sort of planter or seeder I think the issue with our seeder is we've got such a good cheap direct drill at the minute there's no point I don't know if there's anything that's worth sort of upgrading it to that we can that we can cope with horsepower wise with our McCormick the planter might be different because our planter is not massive is it I don't think I'm on three different maps now and it's just all getting very confusing so we've obviously got this one our survival let's play we've got our used machinery challenge on Westbridge Hills and we've got a role player on Attingham Park and when we go to Attingham as well it's not even like I've just got one farm I've got like the whole <laughs> the whole map to look after so I do get a little bit confused I'm really enjoying having the roleplay back. Uh, I've only done... Um, I recorded the third episode yesterday. So today is the Monday. Um, I don't even know what day it is. About the 25th, something like that, Monday the 25th. Uh, yeah, I was late recording roleplay just because of how busy it's been. But I'm hoping that's going to go out tomorrow, so Tuesday. It's uploaded to YouTube. I'm just waiting for it to process um, into HD and 4K. Which should be a good chance that it'll be done by tomorrow. And then these, these episodes with any luck will go out daily after that and try to get back to um, daily uploads how am I doing here? how are we getting on? we're we doing alright I mean, it's been a decent amount of sugar bait, hasn't it? Um, even though we planted, we didn't want to plant this field with sugar bait. It was only because that one straight ahead of us there, that was planted incorrectly. I think we put some flowers in, didn't we? When I meant to put sugar bait in, I just forgot to change the setting on the planter. But we've probably produced the amount of sugar bait that we wanted.
we'll have to get up the production sites as well. I've absolutely no idea where we are with the productions. No doubt we will need milk and no doubt we'll need eggs. Right, is that us full? That's us full with sugar beet. Um, we could, what else have we got to go in? Silage, I don't know how much silage we've actually got. I don't think we've, we probably won't have that much. None in that one. Oh, none in that one, sorry, I was looking at the wrong bit. Ah, 12,000. I won't use that because that will get used for our cow feed. We could, if we've got a decent amount of slurry, we only get it from one dormy. And it's not that one. This one here, I've got 29,000 litres. I'll tell you what, let's get the truck hooked up to that and let's go and get some slurry. Let's start the engine first though, I will get nowhere. Eh? I'm looking to see what um, use machinery we've got either. So that was on, we don't need that. So nothing for us. And these fields are going to have to get turned around and I'm going to put, I'd say not. I don't need to put the combine away because we do actually need to use it. See, there's not even a collision there. It doesn't even reach. I've done that before, haven't I? Right, there we go. Fill them with slurry. We've got 29,000 litres of it. Um... Right, so weed control, where's the weeds? Ah, so this one. I think they need weeding as well, don't they? The olives. But apart from that, there's only this one field, and that's knocking our score down, and nitrogen as well. Um, nitrogen. So them don't need doing. Well, they will do. That we've just harvested, and we're going to have to put a, a load on there as well. Yeah, we're going to have to get fertilised now, aren't we? Let's see if we can get that score up. Right, so we're not going to get all 29,000 litres in, we're going to get 18,200. I suppose the good thing about the BGA instead of the methane factory is we're going to put it through here. We probably won't get as much methane, I wouldn't have thought, um, but we're going to get the money from the electricity and we're going to get the, oh, the digester. It's useless now, isn't it? We can just sell the digester. In fact, I'll probably just keep it for now. We might have a use for it at some point. Right, nearly there. Okay, let's switch off with that. Um, what we can do? Do you know what? I've got that many jobs? I don't actually know what we need to do next. Um hmm. Let us have a think and I will be back in a second. 
Sunflowers. That is the next thing we're going to be doing. Uh, we've got this whole field, which, like I said, used to be two fields, but stretches all the way down the bottom. I have no idea how much we're going to get out of this. There's, there's always, um, it's always a lot less than what I think. When we, I see the field and I think, oh, there's absolutely tons in there. But then, when we actually get to it, there's always a lot less than what I thought in the first place. Come on. There we go. I think I've said it before, now that tree's going to have to come down. <laughs> seems very slow and what I've just noticed as well and it's just done it is the maintenance um, gauge on the right, right hand side above the uh, fuel that's just gone into the red it was yellow beforehand or orange or whatever colour it, colour it is so is that why we're going so slow I feel like we should nip back and get this fixed and see if it makes it any better. Because I mean, we are keeping this anyway. We're keeping the twin screw, it's not going to get replaced. Because I'm pretty sure when we've been harvesting before, when we were harvesting the Kalolo in these two fields on the right hand side, we weren't only going five mile an hour, were we? And there we go. In there. Right, repair that for 2,150 and repair that for 5,000, was it 140? Yeah. Just before we started this as well, we re uh, refuelled. It was £544 the cost to refuel. Hopefully that will give us an extra couple of mile an hour. And it won't take the rest of the day to get these sunflowers harvested. I've got our little box trailer there. That's just getting the, um, the maple syrup. As soon as it's spawned, it's just spawned into there. A lot of the reasoning behind that was just pallet control, really. What are we doing now? Six. I mean, it's better. It's it's faster than five, I suppose. We might as well put a headland on the whole lot. Maple trees look really good, don't I? I do like that mod. Like I really, really like that mod. I think it's so aesthetically pleasing. The um, maple production. You just don't produce very much. That's the issue with it. I don't know if it's just with us being on hard mode, um, hard economy. I don't know if it's just that we don't see much of a benefit from it because of the price we get. And maybe if we were on normal or easy, then we'd notice it a bit more because of what we'd be getting from it. But, yeah, we don't get much out of it whatsoever. But 
but you're always going to make money from it as long as you play play the map you've got it on for a while you're always going to make money because all you've given it is water it's all the costs so as long as you have free access to water which most maps you do don't you? I mean, you can get mods where it's free water anywhere then you're always going to make money from it it's just it's just a slow burn I suppose Right, what I think we'll do, we'll carry this on on a bit of a time lapse. We'll put the time lapse in now because I think later on some of the jobs that we're going to be doing, whether it's in this in-game day or the next one, we're going to be doing cultivating, we're going to be doing uh, muck spreading. And I think during them ones we'll jump. So we'll get the time lapse done in this and we'll be back. It will be right at the end. We'll be tipping this straight into um, straight into the straight into that production there because we've stopped. I think there's no more sunflowers in, is there? We had a look at that earlier. Whether it was this video or last video, I can't remember, but we definitely had a look at it. So, yeah, on that blog. Okay, just about there. I'm hoping it'll be wide enough for that bottom part, because it's a bit, it's a bit broader, isn't it, down here? I say we're just about there. I just looked down and seen how much we've actually got in the tank. Do you know what? There we go. Um, right, we're not going to get all of this in there, I don't think. I'm sure it's a twenty-five thousand liter. Um, capacity in this mill. There we go. Let's get this emptied. Um, how are we doing? Totally went the wrong way there. Uh, we are still plenty of olives. Just about to spawn. Will that be our first olive one? Now we've got olives over uh, behind us, haven't we? There. I was sent one. So just about to spawn that. Um, we'll get another canola pallet overnight, probably. And some flowers we've just started again. Um, we'll wait until the next in-game day for that. Just because I think we're going to run out of time. Ah, there we go. I knew we wouldn't get the lot in. But it's took, to be fair, how much has it taken? It's took more than what I thought. 27,000. Right, so the rest of it can just go over to our main silo. And then we'll do what we do with the canola. We've still got how much canola have we got left in there? Um, oh, score's gone down again. I wonder if placing them buildings on there has, like, really harmed it. It's not good. If anyone knows, let us know if placing buildings does harm it. Because I remember when this variant of Precision Farm had first came out, I remember seeing a video where it was mentioned, but, like, I can't remember who done the video, but they didn't sort of commit to it. Um, it was just something that was mentioned, but not there was no definitive like, yeah, this this is the um, 
state of play. Like this actually happens. If you have buildings on the same um, everywhere you go on crops, then you lose you lose out because if it is, I've made a bit of a mistake. I think I never even thought about it when I put it there. I just seeing that we had that was our sort of bit of spare land. I don't know where else we could have put it without taking up doing what I said, like taking up fields here or you know. Ooh. Look at that. Got our first pallet of gold. And it is Yeah, a thousand. It is a thousand pieces. Very good. Leave all that gold out there. Just, I mean, it is no man's land, I suppose. There is no one else. Apart from Bigfoot. But I'm sure he's not interested in gold. It is getting really dark, isn't it? I know it's November. But it's only half three. Right, what are we going to do next? I think what I might do is um, we could look at some direct drills or we could just go into the next in-game day because like I said it is so dark or what I could do is, off camera, it'll save us some time. In fact, this is what we are, we will do. I've got load a good few fields now that need treating, so they'll need muck spread on them. Um, they'll probably need lime as well. I would have thought. I'm going to spend the time doing that, so. It's half three now. I think a few of these will probably need lime. Um, oh, so pH score is quite high, actually. I don't know. We'll try. I'll see what the lime situation is between these ones here. Um, and then we'll spread some muck for the rest of the day. But I'll do that off camera because, I mean, we do this all the time, don't we? So I'll do that off camera and when we come back, we'll get into something else. Right, since going off, what we did, we did a few things off camera, things like ploughing around the um, around the olives and what else did we do? I think we refilled the BGA, stuff like that. Um, we've run out of pallet space again. And the other thing that I've done in between is I've been on to see how much we recorded for this episode and we're already at half an hour. In fact, I think we were over half an hour so this is going to be the very last thing we do on this episode and we are going to get a third episode in um, from this month which is something we don't normally do so on here we've got 3000 litres of strawberries 2500 litres of lettuce but more importantly we've got 18,000 litres of um, canola oil and price wise 2041 that is well above nearly 100 pound per thousand litres above what we'd normally get so we are going to sell it now there'll even probably be another couple that'll um, spawn once we get rid of some of these because like I said we've hit the production limit what I was going to do is I'll tell you just before I go on here what I was going to do is I was going to go and get some seed and we we're going to do some planting, but we couldn't buy the seed because of the pullet, uh, the pullets, the pallets. So we're having to do it this way around. But anyway, that will be for the next episode. So let's get rid of old canola. I mean, we know the strawberries take absolutely ages to sell, don't we? 
I mean, already we made a good chunk off that canola. Right, so with the environmental score, you're looking at 44,000. I don't mind that at all. 44,000, mostly from our canola oil. Um, we've still got our sunflowers and we've still got our olive oil to go. But we're going to leave it here. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.